how are you? I'm all right, how are you? I'm good, I'm a bit tired, but how's uni? Mate, I've got so much work to do already, but it's been so much fun. How about you? I see, it's been great. I've only been there two weeks and it already feels like home. Everyone is so lovely too. You won't forget me and all our friends back home though, right? Of course not, don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> I miss everyone a lot too We should do a group call sometime Yeah, a call sounds great It's it's a bit weird being so far away from everyone Yeah, I, I don't think we've ever spent so much time apart from each other Yeah, it's crazy Oh well, I'm sure we'll see all our mates soon <laughs> Have you joined any societies or anything? Um, I've been doing theatre actually, it's been great. What about you? I've joined football team and tennis, athletics. Oh, there are some really fit guys on the athletics team. Of course there are. <laughs> <laughs> um, that actually reminds me, I am um, I need to tell you something. Oh shit! Sorry, I I, can't, I, I have a match. Um, I've I've got to go. I'll I'll speak to you later. Speak to you soon. Love you. Love you. Bye. Why can't I just say it? I'll just tell her. She's my best friend. I'm, I'm blowing this out of proportion. Hey, bitch. How's it going? Bitch, nice to see you too. I'm just trying to figure out how to fit in uni work with matches and squeezing in a quick visit to see you, or before reading week. How about you? Any news recently? Mm, not much. I went out last night, so I'm hanging a bit today, but nothing exciting. You? No offence, mate, but you do look a bit rough. <laughs> oh, I got with this really fit guy last week and we've been talking since. I think he might actually go somewhere. Isn't that what you said about the guy last week? And the week before that? Maybe I did, but I think he might actually go somewhere this time. <laughs> I'll hold you to that when you're bored of him next week. <laughs> Um, Sam, I've, I've got something I need to tell you. What is it? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just, um, I'm bisexual. Bisexual? Does that mean you fancy girls? And guys, anyone really. So, is that why you broke up with Rory? Because you're gay? No, I broke up with Rory because he's a dickhead. <laughs> Being bisexual means I don't care who I'm seeing, like, guy or girl, like, I'll date anyone if they're interested. Gender just isn't important to me. I guess it gives me more people to choose from. <laughs> I think I've known it for a while now, but I've never... This is the first time I'm saying it out loud to anyone and I guess I just didn't really know how to say it before. 
but it's got easier now that everyone's at uni and we're all away from each other and we're growing up, you know? I just... I was so scared to say it before, but now that I've actually said it, I don't know what I'm scared of. It feels good, really good. Cool, <laughs> that's uh, really cool. I had no idea. Um, thanks for telling me. Are you okay? Like, do you understand? Yeah, no, I, I do. It's, it's really cool. I am, I'm just uh, confused. I'm just confused why you didn't tell me before. If you've known for a while now, I, I don't get why you didn't just say. Like, you've never said anything about it and I don't get why. I, I guess I wasn't ready to tell everyone. Like, I'm really sorry. I know you're my best friend, but it was just tricky trying to work in to school, then sixth form, then A-levels, but I guess it can be a part of the new me here. It's all so much clearer now. It's okay. I, I don't necessarily get it, but I, I get it. This is a really big thing for you, Cass, and I'm so proud of you. It's great that you feel good talking about it. Thank you. Thank you so much for understanding. Shit, I've got to go, but um, I'll chat to you soon. And thank you so much. Love you. Love you. Bye. <laughs> came up to me and asked where the frozen peas were. What's that about? Do I look like a walking fucking sat nav or something? You work at Tesco? Surely that's your job? You know, to help people? Yeah, but I didn't realise that people actually do that. Asking where any fucking random thing is. The whole shop is covered with signs. Can't they read? That's what the signs are there for. I've asked people where something is before. What is wrong with that? Can we please talk about something more interesting than Joe's vendetta against customers? <laughs> like, what's the goss? Is anyone talking to anyone? Seeing anyone? Harry? Well, I am going on a date tomorrow night. I see this mini golf place. I don't even know why I suggested it. I'm so bad at it. <laughs> Have a good time. Let us know how it goes, yeah? Um, Charlie, what about you? Anyone on the horizon? Oh, oh, God, no, no, it's, uh, it's tough enough trying to make friends and keep up with uni work without worrying about um, girls, too. It's way, way too much stress for me. I'm, I'm happy with my work. Thanks. What are you like? You're going to fun sometimes, you know. All right, Cass, go on. What about you? Oh, no, nah, not really. I've just been doing loads of work. I'm trying to make a good impression to the lectures, you know? Really? No one at all you're interested in? You have more people to choose from now? Not any girls? Girls? Cass, are you gay? No, 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 that's not what Why haven't she you meant... told us? You've only told Sam? No, no, wait, guys, no, she, she's bisexual. Bisexual? Look, I was going to tell you all, but I just wasn't, like, ready to... But you didn't? Like, I don't understand why you wouldn't tell us. We're your friends too. Do you not trust us? You are my mates, of course. I just wasn't ready to... What do you mean you weren't ready? We don't care that you're bi. You should have known that and trusted us, mate. Wait a second. I care. I can't believe that you didn't tell us. Do you think we're untrustworthy or what? What has been going through your head? I can't believe you kept us out of your secret conversations with Sam. Didn't realise she hadn't told you guys. How long have you known? She's known I... for a couple of years. Oh, Cass, look, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I just didn't think about what? it. 
Sam, just stop talking for me. Stop talking. I'm, I'm bisexual and I'm not even sorry I didn't tell you. It was my choice when to come out to Sam and it's my choice when it was to come out to you. Sam, you've taken that away from me. Thank you very much. It's clear none of you fucking understand what it's like at all, so I don't know why I thought you would. Fuck off. What the fuck is her problem? She's the one that's been hiding this ridiculous secret. It's not ridiculous that she's bi, Jo. Yes, it absolutely fucking is. She's just looking for attention and going after girls because she didn't get enough attention from those boys that she wanted. Maybe she's, like, not made so many friends and she thinks that this will get her some more friends. This isn't ridiculous at all. You guys just clearly don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not sitting here and listening to any of this bullshit. No. I'm sorry. What the actual fuck is going on? Like, what is their problem? I've got no idea. Anyway, I I'm gonna go. Let's talk once they stop being so weird. Speak soon, hon. Speak to you later. Bye. you you haven't answered my calls for over a week now i didn't pick up your calls because i didn't want to speak to you why not what have i done do you have any idea how long it took to pack up the courage to come out to you how much i trusted you with that and you can even last a fucking day without telling our friends you clearly have no idea how difficult that was for me no clue at all I came out to you when I was ready to tell you my secret. It was my secret to tell, not yours. And it was my secret. I'm the one who's by. I'm the one who can decide when and who I tell. Just because I told you doesn't mean you can tell everyone else. And maybe if you hadn't, Harry wouldn't be so upset and Joe wouldn't be so angry. I could have sat them down and talked to them, explained it to them like I did to you. Look... I know you don't understand what it's like, but could you at least try? Because what you did, it fucking hurt. It hurt so much. I'm so, so sorry, Cassa. I didn't realize how important it was to you. As, as much as I want to understand, I'm not bi. 
I'm straight. I, I don't have to come out. No, you don't. But you took that from me and that wasn't fair. I'm so, so sorry. Please, if, if there's anything I can do, then tell me. There's nothing you can do. You've said it now. Anyway, they probably would have reacted the same way even if it had come from me. You don't know that. They're still our mates. I think they were just shocked. And, and no, that doesn't make it okay, but... Maybe if you just speak to them? I'm just... I'm so, so sorry. Stop saying sorry. Sorry. Sam, look. I'm angry, but... That doesn't mean that I'm going to stay angry. I mean, I could. I really could, but... I'm not going to. You just didn't know any better. I should have known, though. You said you weren't ready to come out to everyone, and, and I should have listened. There's no point talking about what we should and shouldn't have done. Look, I'll talk to the others and we can just move on. No. I don't want us to just move on from this. You're upset and you're allowed to be, so don't just bury it. Stop trying to please everyone all the time. You're allowed to be hurt. I know I am, Sam. Of course I'm upset. I'm fucking hurt. But what's the point in staying angry? I'll just be more wary of people and less trusting, not only in you, but with everyone. I'm just going to grin and bear it and move on and we can just move past this. I'm not losing friends over this. Cass, you'd never lose me. I hope you know that. Of course I do. You're an idiot, but you're my idiot. I mean, you called me 30 times last week in one day. I don't think either of us could cope not talking to each other much longer, let alone our phone bills. <laughs> You're my best mate, and I promise I'm going to do whatever I can to fix this. M maybe let me fix this one, and you just keep your nose out of this? <laughs> okay. I'll leave you to it. I promise I won't fuck it up any more than I already have done. <laughs> I mean it. Your calls, not mine. Thanks. Anyway, um, I've got to go see a show now, but I'll speak to you tomorrow. Of course. Enjoy the show. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Sorry, I'm just about to head out for a run, but I saw your missed call from last night. Is, um, is everything good? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. D don't worry about it. Actually, everything's n not really fine. Oh, um, what, what's happened? So, I I went out last night um, with my mates and um, we went to this massive club and I must have lost everyone as soon as I got in. I, I bumped into this guy and I'm pretty sure he's in my seminar group or something and um, he offered to buy me a drink so I accepted and um, 
we went back with his mates to dance and whatever. I, I just don't remember the rest. Like the drink must have been stronger than he said because I, I just blacked out and maybe it was maybe it was spiked, but um. I, I, don't, I don't know, Sam. But the next thing I I do know was we were in the Uber home and um, he was there and I just assumed we were splitting a cab fare or he lived in the building next to mine. I didn't really think anything of it. and At least I didn't think. And then... And he started kissing me and he was on top of me and he just got on top of me and started whispering all these things in my ear about how much he wanted me and wh what I was and what he wanted to do with me and I, I don't... I don't know if it was out of fear or maybe it was the drink, but I just couldn't move. Like, I couldn't do anything. I just sat there and his hands, they were, they were everywhere. And my, my tights, when, when I got home, they were all, it all been ripped up from when he had, The driver of the, the driver he managed to um, pull over and he pulled him off me and he managed to take me home safely before anything worse could have happened. Oh my god. Cass, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. I, I, I don't know what to say. That, that's awful. So awful. Do you, do you know this guy? I'll report to him and we'll get this sorted. No, no, Sam. Like, it, it was my fault. Like, I, sh I shouldn't have drank so much. And I probably flirted with him and led him on a bit. And I was in the car with him. Like, I can... It was my choice. I just must have led him on. No. Cass, don't you dare. This wasn't your fault. Don't think like that. He, he didn't assault you because of anything you did. He he did it because he's a disgusting lowlife. But I don't... Suppose. No buts. Don't for a second think like that. I, I blame myself because... I just can't stop thinking that there could have been something more I could have done or I could have just stopped it. Well, then we'll work together to get you out of that mindset. We're a team and we'll get through this together like we do everything. But I think you should talk to the others. After this, you need them too, not just me. I think you should tell them how you feel and how what they said wasn't okay. Tell them about last night. You need people to look after you, especially as it turns out that I'm not very good at it sometimes. You're so special and, and strong and such a wonderful friend and you deserve this from us. Sam, you're, you're the best. Thank you. I... I will tell the others and I'll tell them about last night and what they said about what they said the other week. I'll just try to get through to them and talk to them and show them I still want them in my life. I'll, I'll see when they're free to chat. Amazing. I think that's a brilliant idea, Cass. 
I love you so much. You're so, so strong. Yeah, I love you too, Sam. And you're too kind to me. <laughs> I don't think it's possible for anyone to be too kind to you, Cass. You deserve the world. And so do you. <laughs> I I should probably get up and get out of bed and have some breakfast. Um, when are you going for a run? <sighs> All right, yeah, I was. Um, All right, I'll leave you to get some food, but... If you need me later, please call me. Actually, call me even if you don't need me. Yeah, I... Yeah, I will. Speak to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, um, how are you doing? I'm actually so tired. I went to the pub last night and I had some practice this morning and I was so hungover. I genuinely thought I was going to puke in the pub. Oh god. <laughs> um, Harry. Oh, I'm good, thanks. Uh, I just had a lecture on Cleopatra. So interesting. She was such a badass. Um, how are you, Cass? Um, like, how have you been? Yeah, it's been great. I've I've come home for a bit. I've been doing tons of work. Just been keeping busy, really. That's great, sweetie. Um, but like, has anything been up? Or you know? Yeah. Like, how are you? I'm fine. Like I just said. Is everything all right with you two? We actually wanted to talk to you about the other night. Oh, no, don't worry. I don't really want to talk about that anymore. Thank you for being so kind the other day. And I know it was a shock, but you were both so understanding. And I really, I really appreciate it. That's okay. It was so awful what happened to you. And, like, you deserve so much better. Thanks, Harry. It means a lot. Well, we actually wanted to talk to you about it. I don't think we should, Joe. Well, I think we should. We've spoken about it. You've spoken about it? No. Am I mad? No, not really. Kind of. We are just looking out for you. Like, we're way out of our depth. Basically, we think that you should take more of the blame for what happened. You're putting a lot of it on this prick, understandably. But we think it would help you to take some of the responsibility yourself. You were pissed. That's your doing. Maybe if you accept that, it will help you move on. We're only trying to look out for you. <laughs> Do you not think I blame myself enough already? That as I tried to like clear that horrific night from my memory, I'm also trying to convince myself that I couldn't have done anything more to stop it. That I have Sam and Charlie telling me it wasn't my fault, but I have you two telling me it was. But we're not trying to say that it's all your fault. He was vile and selfish and nothing could have changed that. We just want you to look out for yourself and I think until you get a handle on your drink, you know it can happen again. What the fuck do you mean by that? I I can handle my drink. He spiked me. That's out of my control. I didn't choose to be fucking spiked. We've seen you drink. Don't try to lie to us. You know we've seen it. And you're such a flower on the night out too. You're basically asking for this to happen eventually, babe. Harry, do you agree with me? Well, you do get with a lot of people on a night out, okay? And, like, along with this new sexuality thing, it just seems like you're trying to get attention from everyone and anyone that you can. I mean, being by, you must get with more people. No, it doesn't. Well, you're just, like looking for difficult situations right now i told you i was a bi over a month ago now i thought you finally understood that my sexuality doesn't change me or affect every part of my life i can't believe you think that whether you're drunk or sober no matter what you're wearing no matter your sexuality or whether you got with anybody i did not ask for this 
No victim of assault should ever be blamed for what happens to them because if there wasn't consent, then nothing else fucking matters. The person who did it should be blamed every single fucking time. We're sorry, Cass, that's not what we meant. You know what? I don't want to hear another fucking word. Screw you both. Like, I don't want to talk to either of you anymore. Sort yourselves out. Well, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. At least we said what we wanted to, I guess. Hey guys, uh, sorry I've been missing your calls. I just needed some time to myself um and i know it wasn't your fault i know you had nothing to do with it i just needed space that's okay we understand you've got to do what you got to do we knew you just needed some time for you and that's good you need to make sure you're looking after yourself and doing what you need to do yeah it's good it's been good to have some time to clear my head shouting at harry and joe i still felt guilty that it was my fault with what happened to me, and then I realised they were so wrong, so wrong about everything. Being bi doesn't mean that I'm more sexual or more attention-seeking, or any of that shit that Harry was saying. It's just a part of me, the same me. Where did all that nasty stuff come from? I don't understand. Harry and Joe were so awful. They said the worst things. Once they told us what they said, we just hung up. We literally couldn't listen to their stupidity any longer. So ignorant. They were awful. And for a bit there, it broke me, but I got back up. I just came out to my uni friends and they just got it. Like They listened, they understood, and they could see it was a big deal for me. But it was fine. It was nice to just talk about it. Turns out Amelia's gay, actually. As soon as I came out, she felt it was her time as well. And we just got on with it. It didn't really matter. Cassie, you... You should have been able to go away to university and become who you wanted to be from the start. But Joe and Harry just can't understand that. They're stuck in their boring little lives, and no, that's not an excuse for the way they acted. But they're just trapped in their ridiculous way of thinking. Trying to understand something important to someone else is a foreign concept to someone who thinks like that. Nothing can excuse that awful behaviour, and I wouldn't blame you if you never spoke to them again. I 100% agree with Charlie. I'm so proud you're becoming the person that you want to be. Joe and Harry, they're just stuck in the same routine with the same rotten attitudes and they're jealous that you can go and grow now. And we want to do that with you. We want to see you do whatever the fuck you want with your own fucking life. And, well, you've always been kinder. And now you have this power to be you. The real you that... They just don't. We just want to help you through this um, the best that we can. We know you're putting on a brave face, but we also know that it still hurts, all of it. So, um, so we're here to share the load with you. Thank you, guys. I still just feel so guilty. I, I really fucked it, and I wish I could make it up to you, Cass. I understand if you don't feel the same about me anymore. I I get it now. You don't have to fix anything. I I forgive you, Sam. It doesn't matter what happened. And of course it fucking matters. matters. You matter to us, Cass. Why don't you see that? And what kind of friends would we be if we abandoned you now? After all that's been thrown at you? <laughs> As if. Yeah. We just want to be the best mates that we can be to you, so... Please let us back in. Yeah, 
just let us have that. Just this once. Let us take care of you. I should have known you guys would see straight through it. Yeah, you're right. I, I have been putting on a brave face. But what Harry said really shook me. Like, I, I can't shake the feeling that I'm going to meet someone else and I'll come out to them and they'll think the same thing that she did. But we don't think that, though. We would never think that about you. You know that. You'll always have us in your corner. We will fight for you. We will do whatever it takes to shut them up. You don't. They don't deserve any of your time or attention. No, remember that. Please, Cass. No one deserves an opinion on your life except you. You're the best friends I can ask for. Thank you for being so supportive. God, I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too, Cass. <laughs> so, how's the football going, Sam? Oh, yeah, did you make the team? Actually, guys, I'm a bit gutted. Cut you losers, you fell for it. <laughs> Bitch! Oh, I hate you. I'm, I'm loving it, I'm loving it.